Today, I'm experiencing some serious writer's block. So I turned to ChatGPT to see if it could help inspire some creative thought. What I found is a pretty cool way to generate high-performing titles and headlines in just a few seconds. In this video, I will be showing you how to prompt ChatGPT to provide you with high-quality headlines and titles, and how to verify their quality. If you're new to this channel, my name's Hudson, and I make money writing words online, and my goal of this channel is to help you do the same. So if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe below and hit the bell icon so you can be notified of new posts. Obviously, you don't have to, but it really helps me if you watch the video all the way to the end. So again, you don't have to, but it does really, really help me out. Okay, with all that said, let's hop onto my computer and get started. Okay, so we are on my ChatGPT account here. If you haven't heard of ChatGPT, it's a free text-based question and answer platform, making it perfect for help with newsletters, scripts, uh, or any writing you do online. Headlines and titles are by far the most important aspect of anything you create online, whether it's on YouTube, Twitter, or for, for uh, your blog posts, headlines and titles not only capture the attention of viewers, but they tell the algorithm who to send your content to. So having a headline or title that is not only descriptive and eye-catching, but also SEO friendly is incredibly important. Personally, I don't use ChatGPT very often, especially not for the bulk of my writing. And for days that you're just feeling off or you want to save some time, it can be a very handy tool. I, I like to think of it as an AI assistant. Today, I'm having a hard time thinking and ChatGPT has actually come in really handy. So now, the first thing a lot of people miss when using ChatGPT is they don't prime their conversation with a character. So what I always do when I start any conversations with ChatGPT is I tell it who it is and what I want from it. So at the beginning of this conversation, you can see I've said, you are my blog writing expert. Can you help me write an opening sentence? This essentially creates an identity for it. So I have done that and uh, that will help it to provide much more targeted and better results. Just remember that ChatGPT will forget its identity every two to 3,000 words. So if your conversation starts to get long, just remind it of who it is again. So to get the best quality headlines or titles, um, I start, started off here. I asked, are you familiar with Headline Studio by CoSchedule? To my surprise and my elation, it said that it did. Um, and so I asked it again, can you provide me a headline that will rank 70 or higher? Because this is the score I always aim for on my articles. If you haven't heard of the Headline Studio by CoSchedule, it's a free headline analyzer tool well, that uses AI to analyze the, the power of your headline. This is my favorite one uh, because it breaks down exactly what um, you can do to improve your headlines and um, gives you a good analysis of common, uncommon, and powerful words. So although AI is not um, always perfect and just because you have a headline over a certain score, it does not mean it'll necessarily perform well. I do find on average, and I've talked to other writers as well that um, find that, that this headline tool is pretty good and on average articles that rank above 70 do tend to perform perform better. So I asked it what I wanted. So I have provided the character. I've asked it if it understands the mission, what we're working on. And I uh, gave it the headline here. I was having, having a hard time shaping to see if it could provide me with some high performing variations, not to copy and paste, but to inspire some thought of my own. So it gave me five options here. And these actually all perform pretty well. So if you can see here, um, all of these, um, except for two, performed above um, 70, some actually performing almost in the 90s, which was um, nice to see. Um, and then two of them were under the score of 70. So I, I just said, hey, these were under 70. Can you provide me two more? And then these ones they gave me here um, scored above 70. So that's basically it today. Just a quick video. I thought that was pretty cool. You can use a combination of these two free AI tools to uh, provide high performing variations for your blog posts. Um, as I said, you can also use these for, for YouTube or, or even for 
Twitter because a tweet is essentially just a glorified headline. And that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching until the end. As always, you can feel free to pick up a product from my online store. I'll leave the link in the description below. And if you have any chat GPT tricks, I would love to hear them. I am by no means an expert, so I'd love to hear them. Um, if you could add them into the comments, I'm sure we'd all um, appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.